hey, how are you? There's nothing worse in this world than not having the proper and correct clothes for Camino de Santiago. It's like going for the party and only in the last moment they tell you it is actually a costume party. Actually, there is something more frustrating in the world because this is like 5 a.m. in the morning and you're looking for the missing pair of socks just before the hike. And uh, no, 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 cool. No, cool. No. So in this video, we'll try to give you the ultimate packing list with all the clothes necessary for Camino de Santiago. And as well, we're going to give you a few tips of how to organize yourself and never lose a sock again. This year I have become more practical being than ever and maybe that's because of a thousand kilometers of previous Camino that we did last year. That's why I only take two sets of clothes, one which I wear and one for the change. And of course, a little nice and comfortable pyjama. The foundation of every happy journey is the light backpack because the backpack is that you have to carry with you all the time and after 15 kilometers every gram, every ounce of weight is doubled. Preferably the weight of your backpack should be around 10% of your body weight. You have to become a little minimalist to actually achieve that. And the pro tip of the day, try if you can according to your possibilities if your clothes can be fast drying as a lightweight technology. What's inside of the bag? So this is the bag that I take with me for the Camino Frances which I start on the 3rd of April in less than 60 days. And this is actually a good moment to check if you already subscribed, if you want to see what's going to happen, if you follow the videos and see the adventures of the Camino from Saint Jean Pierre de Port till the Finisterre. If you're not a friend, and let's be friends, and comment down below, please, which is the best tip of this video. So let's get to the business. So inside of this bag, luckily, This is what I have for Camino de Santiago. Can you believe it? And this is one of the reasons of this video, which is the organization. And I will tell you how to organize yourself just to be able to pack in those three things. And the sleeping bag, which I have, but step by step. First of all, sleeping bag to the end. Uh, let's talk about this little bag here. This little bag is an everyday bag, which with everyday items. And first of all, I take with me three pairs of fast drying underwear. If you take a normal cotton underwear, it will dry forever. So you want to have it on hand, one on me and two in the bag, as well as three pairs of good hiking socks, preferably made of merino wool. And I will tell you one of the secrets. I like my merino socks so much that even if I have a little hole just here, I still wear them on me. I love you, no, I love you, no, I love you. Oh, don't be stingy and spend some money for correct socks because it could save your life. If you don't wear correct socks, there you have like a thousands of reasons to get blisters. And this is from a smart wool or darn true and hiking socks, preferably from merino wool you will have to wash the clothes with you once you're in Camino, but the daily stuff like underwear and socks, I take one extra just in case one day I'm too tired to wash it at the burger when I get, so I can actually have one extra to change. Another type of layer that we have, these are the t-shirts. I have a, a t-shirt long sleeve and short sleeve, three of them, one on me, and two for the change. And this is again merino wool. You know, nobody pays me from merino wool. There is no merino lobby that pays me for announcing the merino stuff. 
But I re when I discovered the Merino, I fall in love. And this is the six reasons why you should go for Merino as well. You roll them in, you stick in them and they occupy less space. So those two t-shirts and one on me, so three all together. I also use it as a sun protection because in Spain it's sun goes really hard on you but if it's really really hot i just put the short sleeve on me and i'm perfect to go and the last little thing in my everyday bag is the pyjama jogging pants they're really really thin they do not weight anything so i use them anywhere if i want to go out I use them, you know, you don't go Italy, you don't, you know, you're not like a, in a fashion design week, you know, you have to be comfortable and this allows you to be comfortable in albergue and comfortable and wherever you want. The next piece of equipment is the shirts. And just in case uh, there will be a lumberjack wedding and I will be invited so I can easily go and be there. This is what I have in my everyday bag. That means that now we can go to the bigger one. And it's a bit bigger, but as you can see, it's not really big. Inside we have, and I will tell you later what is that. Inside we have a big jacket, a big polar jacket, just in case it's really, really cold. And it allows me first for the nice wind protection just on the side. And on the same side, the mobility is not reduced because it has a nice and good fit. And after that, I use these pants. These are the hiking pants. This one actually, because the last year I had a low budget, so I bought those ones, uh, which are not super fast drying and they are neither super light like the normal ones, but the normal ones can get a bit costly from $60, $70 up. These ones were around 40 bucks and there's a really cool stuff about them because they, they actually are made out of two pieces. The piece number A and piece number B. So in the morning I would use them as all full trousers because probably it would be cold. And then during the day when actually I was walking I could unzip everything in one second and convert it into shorts. Perfect. So I would have two pairs of pants one on me and one for the change so now we already have emptied two of the bags and there is nothing more apart of the rain stuff you know galicia and asturias they the beautiful the food is great the landscapes are marvelous the nature life is amazing and you know why <laughs> because it's rain all the time <laughs> The rain stuff I already have a handy just here at the top of my bag, which is always there. The rain is coming and you just open and you put it on you. We have a trousers which are really lightweight. I would use them only in the torrential rain if I want to walk. Normally I wouldn't really put them, but they always there because they saw super light. And then we have a poncho a cold a hiking cape a special cape that you can put on and that as well includes a backpack so you just have it on you really handy really lightweight and is always just here with you and one more thing about the rain stuff normally rain stuff it doesn't really protect you from the rain 100 percent because it has a proper resistance there are also clothes which are super rain protected which you could take for the sale but they're kind of bulky and they're really expensive. So the cape, the poncho serves the purpose absolutely fine. And there's a toilet kit as well, guys. The toilet kit I have a toothpaste, a deodorant, a sun protection, a little Vaseline for the feet. If you want to know about Vaseline and how to protect the feet and about the new shoes I'm gonna get as well, in a few days there will be next video in a few days so and there is some ibuprofeno which is this anti-inflammatory stuff nail cutter and whatever you have inside whatever you use on a daily basis just take it and there's one thing makeup 
is not necessary. You are already beautiful as you are. So I would use three bags. I would use for one for the everyday use, or one for the stuff that I don't use daily, like a trousers, like a jacket. As well, I would use one separate bag for the dirty clothes, which I put just on the side. Smelling socks. And one more thing that I have, if you're really a cold person, if you travel in the late autumn, um, you would think about the nice foldable feather jacket as well. Be practical. Use the things for many different occasions, you know? You have to be a practical person. You know the lamp that you put just here? Take with you one because if you want to wake up in the morning and walk, you're gonna need it as well as this. If you're thinking about water, this is the handy stuff. This is called the camel bag. Uh, it's difficult to get used to it in the beginning, but then it's the best friend forever because it's so, so convenient. You put it in the bag, normally it's like two, three liters, and then you don't have to take and reach for the bottle all the time. You can fill it up with water from the different places. You can just put it inside and job done. And one more thing about the electronics. Think about taking as less as possible. But whatever you take, remember that you will need a travel adapter if you're coming from outside of Europe. What about the documents? For the documents, I would use like this special hanging thing. Could be hanging just here, or could be like a special belt. The Camino is a safe place in general. They even have their proper police. But for your own sake, you just have your stuff inside. Few cards, some little money, and maybe a passport, a pilgrim certificate as well. You have it with you and you're all cool. And the one real thing, you will need some extra money to sometimes pay in the small little bars in the, in the artisan place or in many albergues, they do not have a credit card payments possible. So take with you some cash and you will use it wisely. Whatever else you will need, you can, you can buy it on the way because you're gonna pass through the main cities. If you do Camino Frances, there's Burgos, Leon. If you do any other Camino, there's plenty of places you can get yourself stuff. And yeah, as the old man said, the experience is the comp that the nature gives you once you bold. We did our share of experience last year, 1000 kilometers. And that's what I decided to take with me for the journey this year. Oh, 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 I forgot to mention about those bags. These bags are called uh, dry sacks and um, they actually have eight liters. They not only water resistant, but also they expel the air. Camino, Camino, Camino. How cool is this, eh? All right, guys, I'll take my stuff and I'll see you on the Camino, eh?